Reporting for TTN HD Production Live here with actor, filmmaker, producer, poet. All of the above. All of the above. <laughs> Josh Berger. What inspired you to get into the film business, Josh? Um, I started in film, well, I started acting when I was really young. I, uh, I, mean, I was always a performer per se, but uh, I really got into acting when I was about eight years old. Actually, even further back, I started in radio when I was probably around four or five. And um, and yeah, I just fell in love with it and fell in love with the medium of acting. And uh, I did a lot of theater and a lot of stage growing up. And I decided I was going to come. Well, I was actually born here in Los Angeles. And so then when I was 18, I decided I was going to move back to Los Angeles and pursue this career, this crazy business. So, What made you found uh, Burger Bros, your production company? Um, well, I just wanted to create something and I wanted to have a you know a place where I could do that and you know as opposed to me saying hey I'm Josh I want to go and make things you know so I just decided to start my own company and uh, I've made a lot of really amazing connections in the years that I've lived out here and so it's kind of just a way for me to facilitate all these projects that I've been putting together and, uh, and really have a place to call home so what is the importance to you of short films um, as a filmmaker I think it's just a short way of telling stories, you know. I think that storytelling is the most important part about filmmaking and really, you know, evoking emotion and things like that. And it doesn't necessarily have to come from a long story, you know. There can be short stories that are that are powerful and that really, you know, hone in an impact. And it's also, what I think is great is you don't have to say, hey, can you sit for an hour and a half of your time to <laughs> come in and come and see what I, what I have to say, you know. And you've made six short films. What have you learned from producing them and acting in them? Um, I think that short film making is is a medium in itself because you know you have to get in and get out per se. And so it's uh, I don't know. It's it's been a really interesting process to learn how to tell a story in a short period of time and to really be able to develop characters quickly and to you know, really be able to tell a story that has a beginning, middle, and end in, you know, a shorter period of time than a full hour, hour and a half time period frame. And now you're developing Jew and working on that. Tell me a bit about that project. Yeah, well, Jew is a passion project of mine that I've been, you know, it's been festering in me for a while. And uh, I actually went on birthright to Israel. And uh, when I was out there, I was just moved by Judaism and what Judaism looks like nowadays you know we see all these things about the Holocaust and all that stuff and it always becomes something of the past you know and most people don't look at anti-semitism and things along those lines as a you know a matter that is happening right now and so I really wanted to tell a story that took place in present day and showed what Jewish life is nowadays and the the pros and the cons of being Jewish and what what it looks like and so I came up with this story and what I wrote and what it is now are two very different stories but I, um, I brought it to a close friend of mine uh, named Dino Anello and he I was like hey I've never written anything do you think you could <laughs> kind of uh, guide me on this and so he wrote a scene from the movie and it was just incredible and I was just blown away by it and so him and I started writing it and then we, it was time to bring in a director and we brought in uh, Michael Carney, who is this absolutely incredible visionary. And um, and Michael was like, okay, so the story is great. I love what you guys are trying to say, but there's something missing. You know, there's something that's that you know is is missing in the story to make it full. And so um, he came in, and we all three started writing, and we started just repuzzling it, and we turned it into what it is today. And uh, Michael was an you know incredible help on that and then we shot it and we just made magic I mean it was incredible it was a dream come true for me you know especially with this project and with this film and you know what I wanted to say and you know I just saw the uh, the final print of it and we're actually the the locked print of it we're still in you know the final stage of the post and it's you know it's really amazing so I'm just I'm really excited it's something I'm really proud of as well 
Congratulations. Thank you. What are your goals for the future? Uh, my goals for the future is, you know, to keep going on this path. You know, I have, um, I have another a feature film that's in development right now, and so, you know, really start moving into into that realm of, you know, telling long form stories and, you know, working with my brother who works over at, uh, he's uh, one of the founders of Radical Studios, and they're doing some incredible stuff and. So I've just been really fortunate to have a really good community of people who are talented and strong and growing in this industry. So the future will be bright. And where's the best place to find out more about your work online? Um, you can go to burgerbrosent.com and uh, yeah, you can find out everything on there. Great. Well, thank you so much, Josh, and best of luck with your upcoming projects. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm Katie Allman reporting for TTN HD Production Live.